still gotta get us an intro. We gotta get a proper intro. Well, you got it again. The be those are those people. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's funny that you bring that, that bring bring that up. So let's just dive right in right there. The intro to the show used yeah. to be we this. can we with the magic of editing we can edit this out. But this is the old intro. This is the the original one. <laughs> I can't use that anymore. Now you got Dave. Yeah, I got Dave. Probably, right. My name is not Ryan. It'd probably be easier to get Dave to suck a dick, though. It probably. No. But I don't know Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm just fucking That's, with it. We had well, this no, conversation the other day. I'm glad I invited you in to get abused. I appreciate that. What, what did you expect? Well, yeah, no, exactly. That's, that's, that's 100% right. But anyway, so we can't use that intro now. So we've been using a very short snippet of a hammer fight song as like the real quick cutaway like just, title. just enough for like please don't sue like us YouTube, YouTube monetization <laughs> and I catch it just, well first of all here's what here's we'll never an get interesting it, when I <laughs> I had it longer at one point and it did pick up the copyright yeah I don't have anything to do with that it just does it on its own like anytime I'll like before when like before we got signed we would upload our own videos and then I'd get a copyright notification from myself right crazy <laughs> right yeah, it's, like, it's the computers know everything, yeah. and so. But the interesting thing it says no effect on your video, so I wonder what that really means. Like, okay, we, it's it's. I it's think it's just a notifying flag. us that we're using a song, and so anyway, the, it's, it's probably the, like, the notifying very beginning you of, that someone could want to fuck with you if they felt like it. So I Please guess don't so. Sue us. Saying watch your back, <laughs> but I figured yeah. instead bring them in. You're doing me just a favor, bring them in. and Ooh. so. The it, you know it's the very very beginning of I didn't feel like drinking. Okay. So it's just that because he, he wants he, he basically just ooh. I just choked on my beer. Sorry. Yeah. Don't hands please up, don't drown. Up. <laughs> don't I don't drown. have insurance. <laughs> yeah. Chris described the kind of music he liked for intro, uh-huh. and that that intro was like, all right, I know the song I'm gonna use. Cool. So I've been using that. Now and it work. Once we get the uh, those people to redo that intro. Then we'll see. Yeah, 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 yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. We have a special guest. Drew we Murphy. Have Drew Murphy. Hi. From Hammer Fight. And Tombs. from Engine Head. And Tombs. Tombs is way more active than anything else I'm doing. Yeah. I get, yeah. So, okay, well then let's start there. Like, what up with Tombs? Okay, first of all, okay, let's not start there. Drew. Yeah. What instrument do you play? <laughs> Bass mostly. Bass mostly and you sing, right? You could call it that, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I do. I call it that. And a lot of other people have called worse things singing, so you're definitely getting credit from me. Oh, fair enough. Thanks. Absolutely. So, yeah, dude. so tell me about Tombs. Tell us about Tombs. Tombs is a band I play bass in. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> do you... Okay, so... But I know some other guys in Tombs as well, I think, right? Yeah, Ju- uh, Justin and Todd from Hammer Fight are both in Tombs. Awesome. And when Todd's not around, Dan from Hammer Fight play- fills in for him. That right. happened at a festival like a month or two ago. Awesome. Yeah. And so where can we hear Tombs? Like, what's the deal? You know, do the thing. You can hear it on Spotify, on Bandcamp. Uh, I guess anywhere you find music. We're making a new record right now. Very cool. Yeah, the last few came out in Season of Mist. Uh, yeah. And so what kind of, like, for the pe- for people who have no idea... Like what kind of? How would you describe the the style of music? I've heard it described as post black metal, but I don't really know what the hell that means. Uh, huh? Yeah. Same. But yeah, I guess it's like black metal. Right on. That's so the umbrella I it. would fall I under. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah, it's heavy baby. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I know. I I didn't listen to any tune, but I did listen to a few Hammer Fight songs. Yeah, I did send and, a list. And I like feel a bad. Playlist. Like I don't know if that's like a sort like. If you don't want no, to talk about that, or no, I, no, I'm trying. We're I've try, been trying to reboot the thing for a while. I was getting like serious, like super heavy, like Motorhead vibes. Yeah, like, totally. It was sick, dude. I, yeah, we're in a Motorhead cover band too, <laughs> dude. I can see that. That's cool as yeah. hell, dude. Yeah, it's called Engine Head, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dave did a bunch of video. Man, we hired this guy to come film like a full, like two full sets we did in Atlantic City in the fall because we wanted to basically put together like a digital press kit because we've all been like touring an original band for like 20 years but now we start a cover band where it's easier to make money yeah. but get the booking process is completely fucking different they're all really? different yeah so uh everyone wants like 
they want live stuff or whatever. So we put this thing together. We got so fucked up. <laughs> the second set was a fuck, such a train wreck. I watched it. I was like, guys, I don't know how much of this we can really fucking use. <laughs> <laughs> but we well, got wait a all. Minute. Yeah. Wasn't there some sort of like thing that happened at the in the end of the show where like this that you guys had to stop playing because some like drunk somebody lady got fell knocked or over. something? Yeah. <laughs> somebody yeah. fell down and they had to stop the show and like make sure the lady is okay. Yeah, she but... was fine and then she screamed at our merch guy for not having proper security. Like he fucking had anything to yeah. do with that. Yeah. Like lady, I sell fucking t shirts. What do yeah. you want from me? Yeah, just don't over drink. It was fun though. It was great. Show. Yeah. Yeah, that's I mean the and to be fair, a very Excellent uh, Motorhead rendition, if I do say so myself. The, oh. the engine head band was very great. Thanks, it's fun. Yeah, and, but cool. and it's a shame that it's a shame that that's true. That depending on where you're at, like you can't really make money as a as a an original band. You have to you do. You can. Covers. It's just harder. I guess. Yeah, I so, know people who do it. Yeah. That, well, that's true. Okay, so you glossed over it a little bit, but it deserves a little bit more mention. You know, you did tour you know, in uh, all over the place for a really long time. Like, mm -hmm. you know, so I guess. You got to have cool fucking tour stories. Right. Definitely. I definitely do. But anytime someone puts me on the spot and asks me for of one, course, I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, I just draw a fucking blank. Yeah, right. Yeah, they, yeah. they come up organically, usually. Well, my question is, like, because I was thinking that same thing, like, say, say something cool about touring. But instead, like, when you think about touring, because you probably tour a lot less right now, right? When you think about it, What's like the one thing that you miss the most from touring or that you like that the itch that you're most wanting to scratch from the touring? The lifestyle as a whole is just different. I prefer it. I mean, it's a 24 hour job when mm -hmm. you're doing it. Like it's just a work day that doesn't end, but it's yeah. fucking fun. You know, you, the, I mean, most of the time I've done it is in a van with like five other guys. Describe like a like a full day or whatever. Like describe twenty four hours when you're doing that type of a thing. You wake up wherever. Usually you're probably already in transit, or if you were lucky, you slept at like a house or a hotel. And it smells really good. Oh yeah, it smells great. <laughs> we actually used to travel with a fart jar, but we can get back to that later. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, you get and then you spend your most of your day driving. You get to a venue early afternoon. You load in. You know, if you're lucky, if the tour's big enough, you get to do a sound check, mm. you know, and then you hang out, you do your set, and you're there till the venue closes. So your birthday is over at, like, 1, 2 a.m. Yeah. You got to load back up. On to the next one. And then you do it again. And you and try you to fit in part of it. We always did. <laughs> like, but <laughs> some bands Yeah, there's don't. that balance. I've toured with a lot of, like, toured with some bands. Like, I've had some, like, uh, crew gigs where... I'm like the only one there that wants to party, and that's kind of a bummer. But uh, it, because you're getting paid to be there, right? But uh, is what it is. That sounds rad, though. Yeah, it does you know, sound like a cool life. You know what sounds good it's is not our for train. Everybody. It's definitely not for everybody. Oh yeah, the train. Yeah, this we, we when the train goes by, oh, I can hear it on my headphones too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sponsored by my hot sauce. The fruit is lava. <laughs> this train is sponsored by the fruit is lava hot sauce. Blood uppercut. Code 1000. But uppercut? Yeah, dude. That's, the, like, that's, that's a good name. You like hot sauce? <laughs> yeah. Sealed. It's mango habanero. But uppercut. That's the uh, the Jason Ellis show signature hot sauce that good. I created. Thanks, man. It's yeah, dude. Good. Of course. It's, Enjoy that. Tombs had a hot sauce once. When I first joined the band, we did a hot sauce, and it was fucking awesome. Yeah? Yeah. Does it, it still exist? Is it still in circulation? You can still get, like, the, it, it was a brand, uh, Born to Hula. Okay. And uh, they just relabeled, like, one of theirs. So, yeah, you can still get it, but I forget exactly what flavor it was that we just put our sticker on. But Oh, it, that's it was cool, cool, dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah. When's the next time Tombs is going to be playing? Uh, probably. We're talk, trying to do some things in the fall, and so is Hammer Fight. We'll see how that works out. The Tombs stuff is... More realistic, because Todd just bailed on the Hammer Fight shows we already had booked. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Is it because he has to go tour? He got another, he got a gig, yeah, and he couldn't say no. So right I on. get it. So does he, like, because I know, you know Todd's, like, pretty much lives the touring life, like, all the time. Right? Yeah, it's been the past couple of years. Yeah, he's right. doing good. And he was, was he, is he playing bass or with that band still, or is he playing guitar a lot more now? Uh, he plays bass in Psychroptic. I okay. Know, I know he'll be on tour next month playing with them, and then he's got some crew job after that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. Interesting life. I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. 
out of uh, all the places you've played, where was your where was your favorite place or like best best crowd? Um, good question. It'd probably be easier to say which were the worst ones. There, because uh, ever okay, at least for Hammer Fight tours, some of the best towns, like consistently good towns, were always like Chicago, uh, and Boston, and uh, L.A. was always really fun to go to. But so <coughs> I can say without a shadow, without the two worst towns that I could ever ever, and every time I go back, they're worse. It's, Portland, Oregon, and San Francisco. They're fucking total train wreck shitholes. And every time I go back, it's a bigger, bigger nightmare. Is San Francisco because of, like, how, like, fucked up the place is? Like, what's, what, uh, why, why those places? They're just fucking getting progressively filthier and filthier and filthier. I've definitely heard that about San Francisco. Yeah. I feel like you said Portland, Oregon, too, is like Oh, a Jesus kill. Christ. It's but the I feel fucking like worst. that would be, like, one of the, like, not the better places, but, like, it would be good for... For that scene, like I didn't say playing scene. shows isn't bad there. Just, just the town, just the town. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, okay. Town. I'm surprised it, to hear it. that. I loved Portland when I was there, but it was a while ago now. It was in 2019. I went to Portland, and I really kind of had a really great experience. I was like, man, I would like to go back to Portland, but now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't. Well, I mean, also part of it might just be the part of town that I'm usually in because they always throw the venues in the shittiest parts oh, yeah. of every mm. city. Fuck yeah, you know? that's true. When I was a kid, I used to go to hardcore shows, and they were always at churches. Yeah. It was weird as shit, dude. It was so weird. But, dude, best time. Yeah. Always in an actual time. church? Well, yeah, in, like, their rec center or whatever, like, mm. off to the side. There okay. was always, like. Yeah, I've been to a whole bunch of those. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Like, cool. Especially when you're younger, like, all the, like, the all ages, like, in yeah, whatever dude. hall they can rent. Yeah, VFW's Fuck American yeah. Legion church. Cool as hell, man. Yeah. Huh. I remember I saw Boy Sets Fire, their first show in 94 in Newark, Delaware at, it was a. We called it the Big White Church at the Big Red Door in Newark, Delaware. It was sick, dude. I saw them at a basement in Epsique in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. I just went like a year ago. They just did a, they did another show. I forget who they played with, but it was rad as fuck. I think it was out in uh, Pennsylvania somewhere, like close to Philly or something, or like way up. I think no, it was way up north in Jersey. It was cool, dude. It was a cool like old theater. Cool. They still fucking kick so much ass. Who are who are good rock bands right now? Do you guys know. like I'm so fucking I need to get more in touch with what's going on. Uh, I'm such an old fucking man and I talk to people and they're like, You should know this if you do this stuff. I'm like, Yeah, I also, you know, <laughs> not out as much as I want to be. I've run a fucking business, which is cool, but it was it's uh, I'm so fucking over that. Mm. I just want to go home and play my guitar. Yeah. 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 I haven't haven't played I haven't been like as musically active lately like playing instruments but that's how to i find... first met you yeah 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 for sure so you guys have a bit of a history oh, yeah like, we've known each oh, other I, for many years okay. i've known this guy for probably at least 20 years oh that's sick yeah. dude yeah. okay okay yeah many many years yeah, he we... was in a band with my cousin mark when they were in high school and i was like just starting <laughs> oh that's so cool yeah, dude yeah. yeah i my i have a musical hit like the first thing that i wanted to be was like a musician like that mm. was the first big like this is guitar strings so, so is that what that is? Yeah, <laughs> supposed to be. Okay, it's gonna. I'm, I have to get this one. It's they're like graduating. Yeah, I, see, I see that. Yeah, yeah. So, but this one is not the thickest it's supposed to be. So I got to get it touched up. But anyway, that, yeah, that's, that's what, what that said. that's what that you know is supposed to be or represent. I should. I, I guess I could say. Regardless, um, yeah, I was I was in a band for many years. We did like local clubs and local venues and stuff we never we were never at the level that he was at that he's at mm -hmm. where we toured around and did all that type of stuff which is why you know I, I always find it interesting and i admire that um i think it's i have a lot of respect for those guys because you know they really you gotta keep at it able it's to take work, it to the man. next that's level the thing. You, know? you just never stop yeah, you know exactly. eventually you'll get further ahead of course you yeah that's just anything yeah. but you also have to be talented though and that's the really big key is that you guys are actually all very talented guys it's not just like well, a yeah, bunch of dudes like you know trying when it comes to like i guess all the well, I guess once you're doing it, like being talented or being having the chops, like that's a prerequisite. That's like that's bottom of the recommendations. Like, of course that. But the most important, what I wish I had focused on more when I was younger, like instead of trying to be a fucking virtuoso and being mm -hmm. as the best bass player I could, is learning the business mm -hmm. is way better idea. That's my advice to any kids want to get in it. Like, 
start learning the business right away because that's the part that's important. That's the part that's going to help you maintain. Yeah. Because I've yeah. met a lot of guys that do it. And, like, yeah, they're all, oh, they're all sick, but that's not like, that just goes without saying. You know, you got to be good to, to do it. But there's, right. So when you say learn the business, like what are you what are you referring to? Make sure you're not getting screwed. That's just learn just one thing ha- for learn sure. how to play the game because it does. No one gives a shit how good you are. Really, it's a matter of it's all branding and marketing. You're selling a product at the end of the day. At least if you want to be successful and make a career out of it, very yeah. very especially now, very very few people make a living just because they're making high art or whatever. You know, mm-hmm. that's not what that's not what's easy to sell and package. Mm-hmm. I guess mm-hmm. is a way to put it because that's what. Any label or anyone that's going to put money behind you, they're trying to sell a product. They're trying to make money. Right. You know, if you're not helping them do that. I got a dumb question, and this is, ask Dave. I come out of left field all the time. I'm like, ooh, squirrel. Are you, as an artist, at all worried about, like, AI and shit? Because I know that they have made, like, brand new Beatles songs with AI and, and shit like that. Like, are you worried that that could take over at any time and overshadow original artists? I'm far more worried about AI just taking over the human race in general mm-hmm. All right. and becoming self-aware and getting rid of us. <clears throat> but yeah, that's a thing. But I'm not worried about it personally. It's gonna oh, happen. It's gonna be, no, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be a thing, but I'm not personally concerned about it. You know? Mm-hmm. It's it's interesting. We'll see how it goes. It's definitely interesting. I still think it's going to be a long time before AI can like write a good song by itself. You know what I mean? Just like well, yeah, you have to prompt it. But like but, he said, when are the, it, you know there is going to be a time when they are going to become self aware. I mean, they're fucking robots. They're computers. They're dude. I man, I, I watch this YouTube channel called The Y Files. Okay, it's mostly about like conspiracy stuff. But the last one was about. The future of AI, and they read a story about AI taking over that was terrifying, and it was written by AI. Hmm. Yeah, it was like telling you how it's gonna do it. it <laughs> fucking terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> like wrote a manifesto and shit. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah we're that's fucked. Oh sure, we're fucked. Well, and I the mean, Simpsons predicted it. That's speaking of a given. Simpsons predicted that's everything. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, my no. concern is making sure I get it. Like, I just want to uh, get as much work, you know, creative work out, leave as big of body work behind as I can with whatever time I have left before mm-hmm. Skynet becomes self aware and just takes us all out. Fair. And I've been in a creative slump personally, and I'm mad about it. <laughs> and yeah. I'm trying to knock myself out of it. As far as uh, writing music? As far as just getting stuff finished. Okay. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Do you have a process? Um, or it's just kind of like. Just go, it just goes, it just goes, it just. Yeah, it's more organic. The like, anytime I've ever tried to like, you know, formulate something, it yeah. just goes nowhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's usually I'm smoking weed or drinking beers, and I'm just sitting there with my guitar, and then I, oh, okay, I get an let idea. Let me try this. Yeah, let me try that. Like that song you were talking about earlier. I didn't feel like drinking until I started drinking. Right. Uh, that whole verse, first verse of that song, and the name is basically how that song got written. Right. It was by accident. It was just like a Tuesday night. I was at home and I was drinking beers, playing my guitar. I didn't feel like getting drunk. But the next thing I knew, it was four o'clock in the morning when the song was fucking done. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and I was hammered. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it was dope. It just yeah. came together like without even thinking about it. Yeah. And that's how I think most of the best things come together. Yeah. It's that like yeah. true inspiration. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. True, true. Yeah. Like, not forced. Yeah. Like, you're not writing it. You're just letting it come out of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like taking a shit. It's ready when it's ready. Yep. <laughs> That's and beautiful, man. if you man. force yeah. it, you're not going to be happy. That's beautiful, man. I think yeah. you need to quote that. I was like, just going to say. On a shirt for artists or, or <laughs> comers. That's, yeah, you know? it's, it's, it's gorgeous. That, that's going to be in a textbook somewhere. Nah, yeah. Needs to be, yeah, sure. I can't wait to clip that. <laughs> clean that. Clean oh, that. <laughs> so, like, uh, after... I guess Hammer Fight is its own, its own thing, and then Tombs is its own thing, right? Mm-hmm. What's the sort of like songwriting process for Tombs as far as like the the way that you guys share the load? Uh, for this current album that we're working on, we're trying to write as much of it as possible in the room together. Okay, we're just kind of because I guess it's stuff we've always wanted to do, 
Because even with the last Hammer Fight stuff, we talked about doing that, but it just never came together that way just because it was as easier. If I'd be like, hey, I wrote this song. And it's like when you say that, you, you like you bring something to the table where it's mostly like articulated and everybody's just like, okay, this is your part, this is your part, let's just go. Pretty much. Okay. Um, and that's what a lot of the last like two or three Tombs records that we made were like. Like when I first, the first record I played on when I joined the band, it was pretty much written when I got there. Okay. So I didn't, excuse me. Uh, so I just had to learn, you know, basically write my parts and go. Roger that. So you, you, they were, they're just like, here, like this is how the song goes. They're like, here's, the, here's all the demo part. tracks, you know, write your Play parts, cool. and we go to the studio in two weeks. Right and on. I was like, oh, okay. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. Um, and then, the, yeah, but this one right now, like we're about half done writing it, I guess. You know, and we've just, usually someone comes in with an idea or like we'll demo, someone will demo something, we'll mm -hmm, put it in the mm -hmm. Dropbox we all share, mm -hmm. and then we'll just start working on that one idea and just see where it goes, you know. That's cool. That's I, one thing that I miss about the songwriting process is like putting it together with other people and hearing somebody play something that you never thought of, but you're like, wow. Yeah. I mean, that even happens a lot. Like the other way, when you already come in, like, here's the song, but then uh -huh. someone else is, does, has a little idea and you're like, that's so fucking cool. I would have never thought of that. Yeah. And think about it. Like, <clears throat> put it in the Dropbox. 20 years ago, you couldn't do that. It was no. 20 years ago, like, dude, can we meet like this day? And just go over some shit. You'd have to make a cassette tape. Make a cassette tape, yeah. yeah. Or burn a CD. Yep. Right. When I when I bro, when I went from cassette tapes to CDs, it was like I felt like I was on top of the world. When I went when I was actually able to record on my computer for the first time. I it's forget fucking, about it. it was so cool, right? I was yeah. losing my shit. It was like I, up until then I had like a, a cassette tape four track and I'm trying to like bounce things down and everything was just like complete trash. And then suddenly you're like, oh. No, oh the, the coolest thing now, too, is, like, that's how, like, the last Tombs record, or at least we did an EP last year, and we recorded it all on our own. Like, I did my bass tracks in my office. That's great. Or my apartment, and then we just sent them, Ninja mixed it, and then uh, someone else mastered it, and that was it. We did it all in-house. That's awesome. And that's what we're going to, that's what we're planning on doing the next one. It's great that we've come to that point where, as kids, you're trying to figure out the best possible way using the kind of, like, rickshaw bullshit that you have. We've come to the point now where you guys can just do that. You're like, and you know, like, we're it's just not just some dumb songs. demo or something. They're like, that's the album, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the full thing, and it's we did it. Just we didn't have to go pay anyone, or you know, we, we'll probably pay someone to mix it, you know. But we can do the all the and then the mastering that magical like mastering thing that nobody really knows what it is, but it's like okay, that has to be done, and then like that's the you might have to send it away for that that thing, right? Yeah. Well, we yeah we I know exactly. I forget the guy's name. But it was in New York. We did the last. He's done like every tombs one, the mastering for it. <clears throat> I still don't know what mastering is. It's mostly tweaking the EQ and raising the levels as far as far to the best of my understanding. I know that when I do stuff at home, I have like master presets. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Like, like I go to the mastering folder and I just pick yeah. one that sounds the best with it. Pull up my like multi band compressor and hit the preset that says, you know, master. Quick master. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, yeah, that sounds better. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that is a little clearer. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. But but I mean yeah it's just it's one of those things that as it's like the kid in me rejoices when I hear stuff like that it's like you know back in the day you're trying to you know, I was you know in my mom's basement like with this little bullshit thing uh oh that's sorry man I muted my phone yeah no I'm he's, a, he's a total professional <laughs> I am not professional total professional I'm so embarrassed but it was the same thing last time last last episode or or maybe with the live stream where your oh, phone it wouldn't was just shut up. exploding yeah yeah well that's because we had people calling and that's the show phone as well so. oh you got a show phone yeah 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 yeah. Cool. yeah somebody was calling the show phone right now no that was oh, uh, just okay, a text okay. message I could read the text message on the show if you want I mean is this live no no okay. we we <laughs> did we went we did a live show last that week that would be funny and it was a shit to just show. not tell you. <laughs> switch, the switch, live stream was good. Just silent. Well, yeah, it was it was good until I until I I dropped the hard F. Uh no. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dropped mean, the hard F. I, I said it. I think you labeled yourself. Yeah, I did. I labeled so, myself. Yeah, he but called still, it to him, he called it so himself it, but it's still you can't say it. I still can't say that. YouTube It's best not to fuck around these exactly, days. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. what your intentions are, what your mind was thinking. Don't give them, you know. So like we put, we did the episode, and like I think it was hours later or the next morning, I I prided it, and I was like, "Can you please go through there and edit yeah, it?" So I'm it's sorry. been deleted from the internet. It's not it took down 
all traces of my old podcast from YouTube just because I was like, I don't know what the hell we said, but uh, something, <laughs> something on there is going to ruin my life. I've, I've, <laughs> in the three years I've done this, I've always, in the back of my mind, been good about it. Like, yeah. Been, it's it's like, dude, don't say these words. Don't think. <laughs> but now, yeah. ever since this, like, I think within the last year, there's a new CEO of YouTube. And if you curse within the first, like, I 10 think. 10 to 30 seconds Yeah. Or so. Yeah. I've come to terms with I know that YouTube will never monetize me. But yeah, but if you get enough views, you can get a sponsors. And yeah, they'll exactly. They'll monetize you. Yeah. That's but I guess key. it's all about discoverability, too, because I know mm. that they'll bury some stuff just, you know. Maybe, yeah, exactly. I don't know how the algorithm works. It is. No, I've never had any success with it. Same. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, algorithm and women. I <laughs> don't like I me. enjoy doing this. If something happens, fuck yeah, that's cool as shit. Yeah. I know I'm not going to have a career at YouTube. You know what I mean? But I just do it because it's fun to hang with these guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Meet new people. Now, I was doing a whole series of, like, gear, like, music gear reviews on YouTube on the Hammer Fight page. Mm -hmm. I did, like, I did them all, filmed them all when I had COVID, like, <laughs> a year ago. And then I edited them all, like, six fucking months ago because I'm, like, really bad at managing my time. Because. <laughs> and I did put, I scheduled six weeks of them. I'm like, all right, cool. That's plenty of time for me to make another batch. It's been more than six weeks since the last one went up, and I hmm. <laughs> trying to do it. Yeah, thanks to better. thanks to the you know Dave and Anthony, I've been able to stay more consistent. Like an episode comes out every Wednesday, we record every you know. There's always there's the flow. Yeah, it's like the trains always on time. Mm -hmm. Now nah, it helps when you got other when other people are relying on you. It's easier to make. At least for me, it's always easier for me to get my ass in gear, be where I got to be when I'm supposed to be. Yeah. So, like, one of the problems with, like, me running my own business for a living is, like, I'm not accountable to anyone except my customers, but mm -hmm. as long as I have their stuff when they need it, it's fine. But it also, it means sometimes I won't leave my apartment till 11 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then I'm still kind of mad at myself. So I'm like, I could have got half my day done already, mm. but I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're too, you have too much freedom. Kind of, yeah. Too much freedom. Yeah. That's, yeah, I, I guess discipline discipline is something that is like. It's know, not easy. something I have never had. Uh, yeah, yeah same. <laughs> it's not easy at all. No. Yo, Chris, you got to silence your your, I, your. You know, now stuff, I did. Bro. Now it's coming through the iPad, and if I silence the no, iPad. No, you need that for the, for the soundboard. Yeah, exactly. This is it, outrageous. Because it says funny stuff. It does. Yeah. It does. It does like we got we have to get to the bottom of this because we can't have that. We can't have the, the notifications. That is such an awesome laugh. Oh my god. What else you got over there? I got so much cool stuff. Um you get a gang bang my butthole. <laughs> yeah. I I, I I keep saying it, but I, I started putting together some some actual sound files for you. Yeah, well. dude, just just airdrop them to me, and I'll yeah, get them right I in gotta there. I gotta get it. I gotta get going. Yo, Drew, you want to play a game? Yeah, I was gonna ask, what's this thing all about? Oh well, okay, oh this that first. Yeah, this. Uh, we I got. I, I have one of those for the Uncle Zippo table when I do conventions. We didn't finish filling it out yet. Um, if you, be my guest, if you have an idea you want to throw on the board. Okay. Um, but yeah, once it's full. We're gonna start using it. Like oh, one man. chip challenge. You got a hot, hot shot. shot is you take a shot of hot sauce. Okay. Yeah. I got this exact yeah. same one off Amazon a few months ago. Yeah. And I brought it like I ha I like do like comic books and dumb shit. Like I gave Dave a whole pack of all my crap when I got here. And uh so we been to conventions sometimes and we did the World Oddities Oddities Expo in Philly a few months ago. And okay. that was like uh the debut of, you know, the spinning wheel. We cleaned up on that. Like, I would just, we, me and my buddy Mike, who helped me with it, we just sat there and we drank all day and just yelled at people, like, step right up, spin the wheel of destiny. <laughs> one dollar. And, like, half the time they got to spin again and, you know, give us another dollar. Or, what? like, one of the things was hug Mike. Mike hugged, like, 40 people. But uh, it, huh. it was a hit. I yeah. love that. That's it was a fucking hit. cool as shit. It worked out really well. It was busy all day. That's awesome. Yeah. So, while we're on the subject of Uncle Zippo, what's, what's Uncle Zippo? Uncle Zippo, I guess, is uh, what you, I guess you could call it my publishing imprint. I make comic books and what? dumb shit. Yeah. Dude, this is cool, dude. 
Yo, in the other room, I haven't put it up yet, but I have a framed one of these. Really? Yeah. But oh, yeah, the day I got it was when you came to film the shoot that one Tombs uh, live co- set live thing. footage. Yeah, the live thing we did. Yeah. and Kind of live in our studio. Dude. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. That, are, but the smoke and stuff? Yeah. 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 I think I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking around for confirmation. Were you there? Were you there? This yeah, is yeah. pretty cool. So, yeah, so it's a comic book. Yeah. Uh, is it a comic book? It's like a graphic novel. No, Are we allowed like, to say comic book? I mean, it's a comic. I guess it's a comic book. Yeah. It's not long enough to be a novel. It's 30 pages. So it's kind of long for a comic book. Are there, uh, is there going to be more episodes coming out? Yeah. I mean, I, I, please say yes. Yeah. I mean, I painted <laughs> myself into a corner with like the drawing on like the inside back cover because I drew a second, a cover, not that in the inside. Oh, uh, yeah. Right and here. I was like, oh, great. Now I got to do it. Uh, so I started. Laying it out. It should have been done by now, but it's not. That thing took me fucking years to finish, but I wanted to do it my whole life. So. Yeah, no, it came out amazing. Thanks. Like I, I've had that thing framed. For Coming eventually. Since yeah, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. But yeah, so I just saw all my dumb, you know, drawings and stuff like that. UncleZippo.com if you want anything. Oh yeah, it's all Zippo. that all that fun stuff is gonna be in the yeah, description. Right now, Dave, Dave's holding my uh, I guess postcard set. <laughs> People really, really like that one. Yeah, the OJ's Isotoner ad. Yeah. Which one was that? Say? My dad fucked your dad, and your dad liked it, but my dad thought it was gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you think that's as funny as I do. <laughs> like the first no, time right I, I, I thought of that, uh, I guess like five or six years ago, I went to see Iron Maiden in Philly, and at the end of the night, we were driving to get cheesesteaks, and I was fucking hammered. And I, I was hanging out the window of the back seat of whoever was driving, and I screamed at to some guy in the street, and he was fucking upset. <laughs> <laughs> Understandably so. Understandably so. I, don't know, I guess people just don't know how to react to like, something like that. <laughs> Yo, Polly Shore fucked your dad. Yeah, yeah he did. Right? <laughs> That's great, dude. Yeah, we're gonna have a he lot more. Me. A lot more decoration <laughs> yeah. for the for the studio. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. You got, you got we got go. a Sharpie in the building someplace? We definitely do. We have yeah, we gotta get you several. to sign one of these. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'll swap <laughs> the signed one into the frame. Aha. You got it. Yeah, because it's in it's in the, the other room there. All right. Yeah, yeah we're gonna have to do it up, yeah. yeah, definitely that. Ah, Chris. What do you got? We have the butt that farted poop. <gasps> Is it a children's book? I mean, <coughs> it's not inappropriate for children. <laughs> they might not they might not understand the ending you might have yeah. to read that to your kid when they're too young to understand words that's what i gave them to my brother's kids when they were pretty young yeah. they i all, might they all like it i might actually if you're okay with this can, i might want to do like a separate episode like a read along a reading of this i, yeah, I encourage yeah. you to do that yeah oh dude done you absolutely should <laughs> uncle, uncle, yo, Uncle Zippo's totally awesome it. coloring book for adults. <laughs> volume one. Look the butt that this. farted poop by Buck Huckle. Yeah, this is gonna be its own episode. <laughs> I cannot wait. I made an animated version of that too. It's on my YouTube channel. Oh fuck yeah! And I got this is like no fucking views, but whatever. It's funny. An animated version of this. Yeah. Get out. I mean, animated. We're going to put the An- link. I guess maybe animated-ish. An- yeah. Fantastic. Is, using animation is maybe a little hyperbolic. Animated adjacent. I used the same images that are in there, but I made them move around. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. That's good. But it's good got, you know, it's got full sound design and, you know, voiced. Did you, 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 uh, yeah. uh you, what, what is it? What is the word I'm looking for? Voice actor. Voice over. Yeah, but voice over. Voice over. You did the voice over. Is there a word for that? Like you spoke. Narrated. It? Narrated. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. I did. Very smart over here. Wish smart. smart. I did the same thing with the comic book, actually. Oh, dear. Yeah. Keep it tucked in. Keep it compacted. <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a dick with boobs for balls. <laughs> yes. Dick tits. 
Tick, tick, tick. All right. <laughs> Fine if you want to use the technical term. <laughs> I'm such a five-year-old. This is funny right? stuff. Dick tits. I'll be 40 in about three weeks, So, uh, but this is what I do with my, with we, my time. We all have I definitely called yeah. somebody dick tits once in our life. Oh, yeah. Right? I haven't, but I'm going to start. You should. Everybody is now going to be oh, dick tits. More stuff here. This, is, this is fantastic. Bro. I just gave you like two of everything. Thank you, bro. Yeah. This is awesome. You're going to see I, it. This is going to be all oh, over the studio. What? All over the studio. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I really do like is that. Is this... Audio only, or maybe no, I know it's a boat. Is it both? I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, we yeah, should both, describe both. some of what you're, right now you're looking yeah, at. Yeah, I'm looking at a postcard that both. I could send somebody, and the picture on the postcard is a busted pinata with hypodermic needles, cigarette butts, crack spoons. All falling out. I have a uh, two nuns. It says nunchucks, and both nuns are Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, look! Crying. This is the second. This is the <laughs> the sequel. Nunchucks two bad habits, and it's more <laughs> Chuck Norris nuns. Oh my god! Fantastic. I love a good pun, man. Thank you. I Fantastic. really do. I appreciate it. I gotta display all this stuff. This I all has to be on display. We're going to put, like, I'll put better v- pictures of it into the Yeah, yeah, episode. yeah. We're going to have to make, like, a cool collage and hang it on. If you want any digital photos that make it easier to edit, I can send them to you. I, Unless you just want to take pictures of all I'll just, shit. I'll probably take pictures of it just because that way it's not as much of a pain in the ass for you. All right, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Is there more beer? Oh, yeah, there's two more in there. Hell there's yeah. There's two more in there. I'll, yeah. I'll go and get them. Oh, thanks, man. What's that red thing that says fuck? Oh. Sparks sh- my interest. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. That's one of my best selling items. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the book. Yeah. Is there a hole in the book? <laughs> no, you can make one if you want. <laughs> There's a hardcover Dude. edition. It's a little thicker. This is <laughs> seriously a book that I could appreciate because I could read this like one shot. I don't have. Oh, wow. I don't have to put it down. Be like, wow, guys, I read a book today. Yeah, that's like a you can read that in one shit. Oh, you know? yeah. yeah, I might actually. I'll read this on on it. our Patreon because because <laughs> I can't read this on the YouTubes. I'll read this on the Patreon, dude. This is so cool, man. This is so cool. Thanks, man. I hope you enjoy it. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I'm doing so well with guests. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Killing it. I'm like, I know who I'm calling. Boom. Who else you have? Huh? Well, what? just you, bro. <laughs> Pretty much just you. Pretty much just you. But okay. no. Uh, one for one. Yeah. 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 Definitely. But no, this is this is a <laughs> fuck you. I'm a shark. <laughs> I tattooed that on my brother's forearm like years ago. Oh, dude. Yeah. Do you still do tattoos? Nah. No. I was gonna say I'd let you tattoo me. There you on go. the show, it'd be funny. I mean, I I could. I haven't done one in like over a decade. So let's go. <laughs> I, got, I got real estate. Yeah. We could do it. Where's the pen? <laughs> All right. So you said something about playing a game. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yes. What's this game? Thank you, got? you for reminding. Okay, Anthony, are we ready to roll here? Ready. Okay, Drew, you can see the screen. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> the, we're gonna play yes. a quick game. It should be pretty. You know, I, I don't know how it's gonna end up, but we'll give it a try. Anthony, hit it. Okay, so here we go, Drew. We're gonna test your rock and roll acumen. Okay. All right. As a uh, 20-year touring musician, fronting many bands. I only fronted one, but I've been in. Listen, bro, let me jack you. Let me just juice you up. Let me just juice you up, bro. (laughs) Let him cook. Let him cook. Yeah, man. (laughs) Okay, so here we go. Anthony, the first one. Drew, finish that lyric. But it don't make no difference because it ain't going to be easy. Easy. Uh, That's a Motorhead song, right? That is a Motorhead song. Yeah. Figured I'd start you off. Oh, yeah. Oh, the time I'm going to be easy is when I'm killed by death. Yeah. Why did I draw a blank to that? Tombs recorded a cover of that. I'm in a Motorhead cover. Band. I've heard you sing that song. <laughs> I've heard you sing that song. Yeah. We, the uh, first the, time the, I heard that song was him singing The last Tombs EP we oh. recorded that song, and I sang it. I'll tell you what, dude. I don't think you're going to do too good in this game. All right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, I'm just kidding. Well, we'll see. Okay, well, I know what song it was. Wait, don't, yeah, give us a minute on this one. You can see it on their faces, how they love the wind to blow. 
Minding my own business, like my mom always said. And it'd be easier if I had the music playing. I know. Yeah. That's the part that I thought might tri- trip you up, is yeah. that it's like you're going to have to start to like find the melody in your mind. Yeah, it ain't happening. Uh, <laughs> I don't fucking know. Minding my own business, like my mama always said. Oh, this is fucking, uh, fucking, uh, this is Ozzy. Ozzy is correct. Uh, this is Perry Mason. That is, is correct. Song. That is correct. <laughs> and I have no fucking Hit idea it. what the line is. Hit it. <laughs> Okay. Right. But if I don't try to help him. Yeah. See, once All you right. gave me the melody, I, w- I was there. Anthony? I don't know. Did I write that song? No. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Can't tell if this is true or a dream. Oh, that's one from Metallica. <laughs> Anthony hit it. Yeah, deep down inside. Okay. Yeah, but Nailed you don't tell it. me how many lines I have to. Sing well, you could have said you could have given me anything. And no, I, I'm giving him credit. Like yeah. he's doing pretty well here, to, to be honest. I know with you. what I know. I know what every song. Was. Yeah, exactly. You're getting I the songs. Known, getting the bands. I haven't known any. Okay. Because again, it's like without the music or the melody, yeah. it's so in a vacuum. You're like, what the hell am I looking at here? But that's a pretty popular song when you get right down to it, right? It's a very um, popular yeah, song. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So okay, try this. There stood he on his chariot made of gold. He did reveal the trinity of secrets old. The scepter of iron could mercy bring. Is this a Dio song? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> uh, no. no. <laughs> is it Man of War? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, I don't know. Something about iron or steel being the strongest <laughs> of all. Or holding your hands in the air. <laughs> Hit it. Shield of gold, the creator of king. And the great sword, sword of steel. steel. I'll, take it. I'll take that. That's a fucking win. That's a win. There you go. Nice job. Nice job. Next one. Hammerfly had a Man of War drinking game, and we printed the rules on a scroll. Oh, yeah. you, you saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, me. It's me again. Oh. You subdue me, but never tame me. That's fucking Megadeth. Uh, that's, um, Got it. Sweating bullets. Got it. Uh, I don't know what the next line is. Sweating bullets. <laughs> Gives me a migraine That's, headache yo, sinking right. down to your level. Sidebar, I was going out to like lunch or whatever with like my family for Easter, which is weird because I think my mom's the only one in the family who's still a Christian. But whatever. Fair it was enough. like me everybody's and, mom is me and my me and my mom and my brother and like his girl and their three kids. And my nephew is twelve and he had, we were getting in the car and he has headphones on. I'm like, what the fuck you listen to? I put, he was listening to that song all on his own. Nice. Oh, yes, I was yeah. so proud of him. <laughs> it's like no one told him to listen to Megadeth, and he's just doing it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. What a guy. Yeah, that's funny. Oh uh, yeah. Took me so long to remember just what happened. I was so young, and Vestal. Then you know it hurt me. I don't fucking know. Is this the Donna? No, it's not the Donnas. They want to use a word like Vestal, dude. I got no idea. Yeah, this one is this one. I, I thought might be kind of tough. This one might be kind of tricky. Man, I just got the fucking s- sad horn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who the fuck is? I don't is even this? know what this is. This is Tool Prison Sex. Uh, yeah, I would have never gotten that. I didn't know if Tool. I do. I do like Tool, but um, but I'm breathing so. I, I don't want. I, I don't want prison I'm sex. I'm good. Alive. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. Even as the, even when they describe it. But in Anthony, the song, would you stick good. your dick in a glory um, hole in prison? Not even in prison? No. Especially you, you, not you in almost, prison. But what if it, you I, almost have to in prison. What if you're serving a life sentence? Yeah, you're dear you are. There's no shot of getting out. And a, a glory hole? No. I gotta know where it's going, right? And then there. You know it's going to mean? glory. It's yeah. It's, <laughs> into glory ride, my friend. So you're yeah. like you <laughs> just think about it, think about it. You're hopped up on like fucking prison drugs, because prison drugs are Fine. awesome, I heard. Right, I was in prison. I would do all the prison I'd drugs. I'd do it all the prison drugs. Whatever's I'm, available, yeah. Dude, toilet, hooch, fucking yeah, 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 butthole yeah, meth, what, you know. Whatever's I'll available. Do it yeah. Yeah. Whatever, whatever came in the prison pocket. I'm doing it all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In the prison pocket. Yeah. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I'll just you be doing weed. I'll just be doing weed. Hit yeah, it. All right. I feel it's slow. Oh, I wrote this song. This is I didn't feel like drinking until I started drinking. That is very correct. Nice job. Yeah, this is the song that he referenced earlier when we were talking about. Yeah, that's the story of uh, me writing the song. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. cool. <laughs> so I think that's the last one. Yeah? Yeah, there you go. Okay, good job. 
Thank you, Anthony. Yay, right. thank you for playing. Thank you, well done. Well done. Thanks for playing my my ridiculous game. No, you did good. Well, no, you did good. I guess. I didn't actually get, I only got one full answer. Yeah, but you know, again, with no music and no no melody or whatever, just picking up on the song and the yeah, artist. you probably got like maybe three. You can't play the songs if it's on YouTube. Exactly, yeah, and that yeah, was the yeah. thing. It was like, how, how can I incorporate? So the actual shitty music? for like any type of like music journalism or criticism or just reviews of anything. It's right. Like I guess those people who who listen to songs and react to them for the first time don't get monetized. They don't get anything. I know some of them like they try to like get like permission to have their videos whitelisted from like whoever is the copyright owner, but mm-hmm. even then I hear it's an that's annoying process ass, that's yeah. not even like guaranteed. Yeah. It sounds like a major pain in the ass. It sounds like a pain in the ass and it sounds like a money grab too at the end of the day. Like Yeah, it's also the way I think this is the way their algorithm system works so that they don't have to involve people doing any fucking work. Let the yeah. robot flag it and then fuck you. Yeah, wait for to see if the, anybody is going to appeal it and shit like that. Yeah, Still, yeah. But what if, what it, what's the appeal then? Why, why would somebody do? Because I know those reaction videos are super popular on YouTube. They're, They're extremely on my popular. The time. Like, oh, I, I'm <clears> listening <throat> to, uh, you know, uh, Hammer Fight for the first time. Watch me listen. You know, yeah. watch me react. Why would, know. why would anybody do that if you know for sure that you're going to be blocked by everybody to begin? With? Like, I don't. How I does thought, that work, man? I thought maybe if you like so ignorant of mention this. them or you like you clearly did something state. like you I, watermark the video somehow. I, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know the specifics. Yeah. Gotta get better at YouTube, bro. Yes. Yeah. Gotta do that. Gotta gotta go to that YouTube university. Would it be the same way as a cover would work? Like if somebody was recording themselves doing a cover or something like that. Not if you're playing the recording. And that's under parody laws, yeah. right? Parody. Yeah, I guess. Well, yeah. no, some covers, you know, you need to get, technically, if you want to, like, if I record a cover and I want to put it on Spotify, mm-hmm. if I want to be able to, like, legally collect any, like, Spotify rose, permission. Yeah, you don't necessarily, you don't have to, like, reach out right to them because I know at least with DistroKid, which is one company that, like, I guess... Like you upload stuff to there and then they put it on the streaming sites. Mm-hmm. You can pay them for a cover license, you know, and, it, and it's usually only like 10 bucks a song. Okay. And I guess as long as the original artist is fine with that, then it, you're good. Hmm. So, yeah. So you pay, you, you pay the, the service. They have 10 like bucks, a, co- yeah. And they secure the rights for you. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That's actually, that seems on the easier side. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. And I don't know if you get less royalties for every stream or not. I have no idea, but aren't you already getting like next to no royalties anyway? Mm-hmm. So it's just amount. It just all you're doing is throwing shit at the wall, trying to get that viral video, trying to get that notoriety, because you're not going to be getting rich off the, yeah. the residual or off the royalties. To yeah, me, I you're guess probably it's probably not. You're like, I've always said that it's like the kiss of death if you're a band that gets popular based on a cover song, because it's like, oh man, this isn't going to go well for you. You're like. Name a, a band that got popular off a cover song that stayed around. Jimmy I, Jimi Hendrix. Got popular off a cover well, song? <laughs> maybe he didn't get popular off it, but he, you know, all on the Watchtower, Bob Dylan wrote that. But that wasn't really? the first song yeah. that he... No, oh. yeah, you're right. Well, it's not, it wasn't what set him off. Uh, right, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about somebody who came on the scene and they, they, were, they became huge because of, like, like, like your uh, Alien Ant Farm situation. You know, there's that, one, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, I couldn't name one other one of their actual songs. What about Limp Bizkit? Limp Bizkit came on the scene because of the song Faith. Yeah, but that Orgy. wasn't that wasn't their first big single though. Orgy. Yeah. Orgy. Yeah, but what else? Yeah. What, what else did they, they do? After that? Uh, but yeah. Limp Bizkit's not a good example because Limp Bizkit had plenty of their Stuff own before hits true. Yeah. before that though. Yeah. So okay, fair enough. Yeah. Mm, I don't know about bands, but definitely solo artists. I gotta piss. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Love the setup. It's so good. Thank you so much. <laughs> it sounds dumb, but like as a kid, I was like super into Howard Stern. And I always wanted a room that had that you glass the partition. Room? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we just, the first piece of glass I got made was way too small. So I just got another piece, cut the hole out, put it in, framed it out. And like the board I have in there, dude, it's way overkill. I got the Midas. No, M32. I saw it. Yeah, you don't, you don't need that, but it looks really cool. It's yeah. badass, dude. <laughs> yeah. You know what it is? Like I wanted to, like if 
I want to rent this space out to people. If, if, if you have a show and you don't have space, come here. You can use my gear. You know what I mean? We'll rent it out. And if, if people come in here, potential clients, I want them to see that we have professional gear. Like, yeah, this is no joke. You yeah. could easily do that. Yeah. So yeah that's that's filming, definitely the goal. That's I filmed some, like, goal. promo footage for that exact reason, just so that we can, like, put some, put a clip up. I still haven't, you know, gotten enough yet to really. Yeah. But Excuse to be me. able to, like, show people not just what they see on the show, but the actual, like, you're experiencing the, the place itself and seeing, like, the level of. You know, quality and level of professionalism. The never-ending cloud of weed smoke in the control room. Fuck yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Nonstop. <Wait>. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> and, and that's the thing, too. Like, I was just going to say, you should light up some weed. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have some in my car, but I didn't bring it in. I got you. Um, right. Like, going into this, I knew, like, I really wanted to do it. It wasn't just going to be a one-off thing. Let me just buy like a stupid like, a uh, like one of those like USB microphones and and run off my laptop. I started with a Rode Procaster. It's just a four-channel mixer, all in one deal. Started with those microphones, these little pod mics. Yeah, you got the SM7Bs. Yeah. <coughs> just, just slowly but surely, just started building, 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 and this is where we are now. Well done, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're doing good, kid. I definitely yeah. couldn't do it without these two. Seriously. Seriously. And Maria, she's not here. She's not usually so much, here. I come here because I, I love the vibes. This is a dope studio. I love chilling with you guys. And, and But, dude, you're a huge help, dude. Well, huge yeah. help. Everybody needs a guy in the backgrounds. You know what I mean? Put, touching a couple buttons. Someone needs to be making sure everything's working. Yeah. yeah I'm, just to yeah. be honest with you. I'm not Did we guy. hit Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you the dumbest question. I didn't realize how long we've been going. Oh, we've been going. OBS is open and recording? Yeah, we're all good. <laughs> okay, good. We took a break at 46 minutes. It was a pee break. Okay, good. Okay, good. P good, break. good. Because I knew I plugged in the, uh, the black magic and I hit the button for the microphones. But I know I didn't <coughs> have the computer all set up, so thank you. Gotcha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so welcome back, folks. He's a quick learner. He's a quick learner. Yes, welcome back. Yeah, we're back. We're back, baby. We're back with the butt that <coughs> farted poop. Yeah. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by the fart, the butt that farted poop. You can get right. it on Amazon and uh, paperback, and on YouTube as a cartoon. That is awesome. Links in the description below. I'll give That's you right. A, so basically, give, it's a you. shart. Yeah. A shart. Yeah. Have, have, have you ever sharted? I sharted on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> what were the circumstances? Where were you? Like, was it like you can't get to? It was the morning, and I was sitting on my couch drinking coffee. Oh, uh, okay. Well, at least we were at home. And I thought I had the fart. But. But no. it was it, it was it was like. Uh, <laughs> It was an it was an elevated fart. Mm. Yeah, it was what my cousin mm. Rob would call a wet fart. Yes, fair. You thought it was a bubble, but it wasn't. I was, oh, sorry. dude. Yeah, sorry it was a bubble dude. that splashed. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Um, Fucking ruined my morning. I, I shart like four times a month. This is a lot of information to be given out because I know that there's a lot of people that watch this. <coughs> but yeah. I'm I'm kind of gross. Did you say four a times a, a month? He's a once Easy. a week kind of guy. Easy, dude. <laughs> You're taking too many chances, bud. I, I take what, dude. I fucking You're taking too many chances. I, I ride the line every time, dude. I guess. <laughs> you drink a lot? Goodness. No, I don't. I haven't. I only drink on vacation. Okay. I just smoke weed. I think that's part of. I think this might be part of like why it happens to me more than I care to admit. Uh, I remember when I was in like my mid twenties. I rented in a house. You know, I had a few roommates. Mm -hmm. And my one roommate, this guy named Rich, you might have met him before. I don't know. Anyway, Rich is like the biggest drunk shithead I've ever known. I love him. He's a great guy. And he was a bartender by trade. And uh, he was the type of guy who would just always get wasted and eat pizza and pass out in the living room or whatever. And he was probably like 27 when he told me, he's like, I've never sharted in my entire life. I'm like, you of all people have never sharted. Like, Can't I don't, trust anybody. He's like, I don't fucking that. believe you. <sighs> like two days later, I came home from work and he's sitting on the couch, walking the door and he looks right at me. He's like, this is all your fault. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, I sharted beyond the bar last night. Because <laughs> I guess we had just had that conversation like days prior. And I was like, oh, well, well, welcome to adulthood, sir. 
Yeah. You know? And I'm certain he's done it dozens of times since. There's no, <laughs> but ever since then, almost almost every time I didn't this last time, I, I would I'll text him and let him know, but yeah, I just sharted. <laughs> yeah, and usually he doesn't you know write back, but he gets them. Yeah. <laughs> and that's funny that you said Saturday because I swear to God my last one was like Thursday. <laughs> I swear to my me. goodness. At least I wasn't Dude, in public. You know, it's been, it's been a little touchy ever since my surgery. You gotta give well, me that's that. Fair. You gotta what kind of surgery you have? I had this large abscess that was in a really fucking bad spot, and they had to cut me open on my taint, kind of deal. Oh, bro. Yeah, dude, it's pretty fucked up. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, Gooch. Damn, son. My poor Gooch took a lashing. How's it healing up? It's all good now. Oh, it's good. all good. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I had to have two surgeries. The first time, I rolled out of that place basically with like a rubber band hanging out of me, out of my Gooch. It was pretty fucked up, dude. That visual is horrifying. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I asked for a picture, which we didn't get, unfortunately. I wanted to I put. Can't do it. I, I just to put saw a, it in my mind. A no context picture. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. Like I do a it, picture, dude. but no butthole or balls. Just a no context picture of the of the the rubber band hanging out is what I want. It was a weird. It really looked like you took a black rubber band and you cut it. It was just like this much hanging out of my body, and the rest was tied around the remainder of the infection. Oh it was God. weird, dude. It was so weird. Oh my God! So you had like a little mini sack. Yeah. Oh, you had two sacks. I I I do play sack. Inner sack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had indoor sack. Yeah. Your sack had a sack. Yeah, it did. It was terrifying. Yeah, it was terrifying. So. But dude, at first I was like, I thought for sure I was like, it's fucking ass cancer. Like I thought for sure, but they did all the tests and everything. So. Okay, I'm glad to hear you're good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we can laugh about it now. Yeah, no butt stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I just I recently had my cat neutered, so I guess you know that's also like a gooch surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's doing good. Gooch adjacent. Yeah. <laughs> good for the cat. <laughs> he's doing good. Goodness. He's, he's doing good. He re- I was shocked how quickly he was like hundred percent back to normal like the next day. Really? Yeah, I was impressed. That's rad. Yeah. Yeah, I was out of work for I don't know how three weeks. That is. Three weeks. Oh yeah. Well, the cat for the cat next day cat. That's huge. Well, listen, three, I guess. three weeks of our time is like one day of theirs. I guess they live that a, seven year rule. Do cats apply to the same rules, dog? Do we no, know? No, they got their own. I don't know what it is. It's different, but I know like a old cat can live for twenty years. You know. Yeah, cats do live for a long time. So I guess maybe your uh, math might add up. I'm just as far saying, as if you're just you know, I'm no mathematician. <laughs> but you do have a lot of cats. But I do have two cats swimming. In I puss. thought you had three cats. Uh, we uh, we uh, we say goodbye to one. What I'm do you so, mean you say uh, goodbye? There did it die or did you there, lose it? There was a window that happened to be open. Oh my! Wait, goodness. Wait, what floor do you live no, on? No, he said goodbye to you. <laughs> he did. I gave him the op- I gave him the opportunity. I said, "Listen, I had enough of all this shit, literally and figuratively." So I left the window open. You decide. You want to leave? You can leave. If you want to come back, you can stay here. <laughs> you knowingly left the window open? No. Yeah. <laughs> what? It's kind of fucked up. <laughs> what? Well, in my what? De- in my defense, it, I it was it was a, a cat that w- I had found as a kitten <coughs> outside. From when? Yeah, that's came. how I got mine. I'll from never let him came? out of the fucking apartment. From. <coughs> Well, listen. I saved it from dying, and now it was good. But somebody else, somebody else has it. He's he's all good. You know that? <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> what do you mean? So this, you guys just didn't get along. No, nah, there's just too many cats <laughs> in my house. Right. Stop there's, this there's now. Too many ca- so you had three, three cats, cats, which is too many cats. Are, you know what? The fish let me tank, ask you two kids. One one Man, cat might tank. be too many cats, but we'll say one is fair. Be huge, but- <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> How do you know that the other cat is fine? There's a bunch of cat ladies in my development. And, and um, you know who who got yeah, the cat? Yeah, I already got shit for it by this one lady. She was like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, oh she so goes, she called you out. Oh, yeah. She's like, oh, did you look for it? I was like, yeah. She goes, well, not hard enough. I was like, Shut right. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But she, her and this other lady, there's like these cat queens of the development that save all the cats. They like captured it and that found it a home. Is, and they found it a home. Yeah. So the cat's not around anymore. No. It's not like an outdoor cat. <laughs> nah, they, they, nah, I knew this would happen. Oh, I knew this would happen. Dude, there's like 15 cats in the back of the development that they, they build like these houses for. It's it's insane in the woods. You underestimate my power. You this know what you need is, to get on that? 
You need to get a sample of Dice Clay going, oh! <laughs> yeah, there you yeah. go. Need that. I like it. At this point, we might need a cat meowing, too. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. I, I got... That's the closest <laughs> you're going to get. <laughs> and I, like, I like that one. Human people matter. <laughs> I cannot believe what I just heard. What'd you hear? This guy with his cat letting the cat out the window, getting uh, called out by the lady... Yeah, it wasn't very cool of you. But, I mean, you know. is it is it the first floor? No, the second, but the, the, the window was like in the stairwell. Bro. So it was in the stairwell, near the back <laughs> of his apartment. It has, it has a, a, there's an easy. <laughs> this is the craziest shit you've said in a long no, time. It's dude. like five feet off the ground. You are a sweet, sweet angel of a man. <laughs> Listen, That's wild stuff. Uh, uh, shit happens. That's funny. He's gonna get some hate in the YouTube comments oh, for that one. I I I, I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> they didn't I don't see even my know. Face like too much. It's just one of those things where it's like a, any <laughs> any press is good press type deal. But I don't know. I We're gonna guess. find out. His 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 Instagram is right here. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. Cat, uh, me and the cat didn't get along. <sighs> All right. Well, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> seriously. The cat wanted to fight you. Watch, you're going to go back and it's going to be there. The cat's not the only one that's going to want to fight me after this. <laughs> this is all for comedy. Don't go after us in the comments. Well, go ahead, do it. But, but it's all a joke. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was all, it's all. That, yeah, obviously none of that's true. All the Yo, so, Drew, how's that beer? How is it? Like, what's your rating? Like? I've never had it. It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. It was Cane Brewing Company Head High India Pale Ale. Huh. 6.6%. Yeah. It's, they're a New Jersey beer. It's like a New it's Jersey 26%? brewery. 26%? S- six. <laughs> no, it's 6%. Oh, I thought you said. 6.6. 6. I was like, wait, <laughs> what? I don't think legally that would be a beer anymore. That's, yeah. No, <laughs> that's like a liquor, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, they're a New Jersey beer. I hear they're pretty popular. Really? I think I've been to their brewery, actually. Where is it? Like. Uh, Ocean, New Jersey. No, I've been to several. Bre- There's a lot of fucking. Oh, they're breweries fucking in like right around the corner. Ocean. Yeah. Well, it, fifteen minutes. Okay. Right? That's There's cool. like a a lot of fucking breweries in New Jersey now. Yes. Like a ton. Me and my brother and my sister in law, we went to like three or four, like kind of in this area, like a couple months ago. Okay. Or we no, it was in Manahawk in. I forget what the place was, so I can't plug anything. Mana cool. Yeah. Was that it? Oh yeah, that was it. That was the place. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's it called? Mana Mana Fur- but then we went to a, and we went to another one that also had like case. a fucking big arcade too. That I don't know about. It was right down the street from there. It was dope. Yeah. No, I uh, I saw the other the Mana Firkin beer in the same cooler with this mm. with this beer, but yeah, I, I don't know too much about it. But if they're close by, we should invite them in. Yeah. Yeah, why not? You should. They were cool. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, we had uh we had these couple cats that uh and I feel so bad that I don't know off the name the top of my head what the name of the distillery is, but they make alcohol from peas. What? Yeah, dude. Are they local? Yeah, they're in Red Bank. Okay. Yeah. I used to live in Red Bank. Hmm. But I don't think that place was there when I lived there because I've Figure I would have known. Yeah, if there was a pea distillery in that, down the street. Yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking. Wait, what, what kind of? Li- <laughs> it sounds, <laughs> sounds different when you say it. Make, <laughs> like garden peas, like cool. garden yeah, peas, yeah, yeah, like yeah. green peas, <laughs> not pea. What yeah, kind really? of? What kind of liquor do they? Is like, it like their own? Like yeah, they make their own uh, vodka. Okay, their I was gonna ask. Is it like vodka? And, oh, yeah, okay. dude. All right, so fermented peas. All right. Wild. It's like an old, it's like an old Russian recipe that their father, their grandfather invented or something that they just. I've, I think you mentioned this before. Yeah. Yeah. We got to figure out who these people are. And they were twins. They were so cool. They, of- that was when we had the studio at my house. It was really cool. They were fun. Nice. All right. Yeah. We got to do, I mean, there's, I know there's Asbury distilling. Have you been to the Garden State Beer Company down in Galloway? I live in Galloway. You do? Yeah. <laughs> There's a place called Garden State Beer now. Company. Actually, yo, that place? Yes. It's the same building. It used to be a nightclub, and that was the basement I saw Boys That's Fire in. Get out. I swear to God. It used to be really? called Delorado's. 
Yeah. That's cool. And dude. when I was in high school, like that's where all the punk rock shows were normally in the basement. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. eventually sometimes they did some upstairs. Yeah. Like I saw 25 to life upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure Rick sold only bootleg E Town CDs. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's where that that's where that place is now. Interesting. Yeah. They, I haven't been there, but I've driven by it, so I know exactly where it is. It's on the Boy Horse Pike. Apparently, yeah. they're I mean they're they're Boy their beer Horse is good. Pike. I, I was there. The I don't. Radio. I didn't drink any beer, but their their beer is good. Fuck you should yeah. go there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Let's go. Like Let's go. I like live in in Galloway. Yeah. It go, sounds so come far down, from hang here. Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sounds gotta, so far from here. I have to be in touch. It, it was it, 50, 55 minutes. Really. Fifty five minutes. That's what it was. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah, dude. Thanks for having me. Definitely a ride. Not band practices further. I go there every week. Are you still practicing in the same place? In Keyport, yeah. Huh. Nice. It's pretty cool. Nice. I like it there. It's a good place. Monster Magnet is across the hall. Remember those guys? No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's so wild. <laughs> They've been in that room for like 25 years, I think. Their room's really nice. I've never been in it, but they left the door open before, and I saw it. I'm like, Just whoa. <laughs> yeah. You guys have like... Multiple rooms <laughs> and a couch look pretty cool. You got a shower in there too. Yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is cool. Uh, that that space is dope. I like it. Is it the same place I shot the videos? Yeah, uh, same right. place. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, is it just a uh, like studio space or it's just like, like a, a big warehouse? It's a big like it's a w- kind of like a warehouse. It's a multi floor like it's all rehearsal rooms though. It's called like Retro Productions. Okay. Yeah, it's in like an industrial park. Yeah, like there's warehouses next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something else. Is there like a strip club there by it or something like that? Wasn't there like a strip club? Pretty close. Sign. Yeah. That sounds about right. Wait, wait, what video are you thinking of? Uh, I'm thinking of maybe like the old one. The first one. Oh, no, 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 no. That was in Keensburg. Okay. We moved. Ah, the Berg. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good old That was a killing time in Keensburg. And there was a, that was in a tiny little strip mall and there was a strip club right in the corner that was closed 90% of the time that like, I was going there. Okay. I dated they, they a girl open. that lived in Keensburg. She was probably like five minutes from that little like amusement park thing. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She was a fucking train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Big time. Don't tell her we're talking about. Oh, she doesn't watch the show. She. <laughs> I don't even know if she's alive anymore. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's train wrecked, dude. Oh, train wreck. All right. All right. Yeah. If she ain't dead. She's probably in jail. Jason Muse is from Keensburg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I was at an event recently. Oh, so John Moses, who was in, mm-hmm. he did his Red Bank Comedy Festival. Yes. And the dude who played Dante, mm-hmm. what's his name? Halloran? Oh, Brian, Brian O'Halloran. O'Halloran. Brian O'Halloran. Yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was there, like, hanging out over there. Like, those guys are around. I yeah, sang karaoke with guys. him once in Atlantic City nice. after a horror convention. Oh, it's sick, it me dude. and Brian O'Harlan, the guy who did the voice of the Crypt Keeper, and, <laughs> and Ray from Full Blown Chaos, and we all sang Walk by Pantera. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and I have a video of it. Yeah, it was, Fuck it was yeah, pretty funny. Dude. It was like 10 years ago. Nice. It was cool. That's really cool. That's a, that's a, quite a crew of people. Singing. Yeah. <laughs> that was an interesting night. Yeah. I'll bet. I can't wait till the horror convention comes back around. I love it. Which Absolutely one? love it. All of them. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, honestly. I just love them all. Like uh, Uncle Zippo, um, vends at them sometimes. Like we did Monster Mania before, and we did that World Oddities, Oddities Expo, which wasn't necessarily a horror convention, but if mm-hmm. yeah, it had yeah, the yeah. same vibe. Maria yeah. and I went to this one. It was uh, was it RetroCon? Was it? I don't know if it was Maybe. called RetroCon. It was in this weird. It was up in PA. It was in this weird, like, space museum of sorts. Kind of cool. It was kind of cool. They had a little bit of horror stuff there, but, yeah, Monster Mania is always fun. Yeah, there's a New Jersey horror convention. It comes to Atlantic City, like, once or twice a year. I only went to that once. That was probably, like, 10 years back. It was sick. It was so I fun. I did it, like, a year ago. I went to one a couple months ago. It's usually at Showboat. Showboat, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. Is and it? I like it there because it's, like, spread out. It's not, you know, all on top of each other. You can just go to different rooms and shit. It's really cool. Yeah. I never go to the panels. Oh, uh, I never go to any of this. If I'm not vending, I show up late and I just get drunk. 
<laughs> like every, almost every time I go to Monster Mania, like I just show up at like the end of the day when everyone's getting done because usually at least some of my friends are vending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone's got a hotel room if I didn't have my own. And it just party. It's a bitch to get a fucking hotel room there. You got a book way in there. Yeah. But I've done it a few times. Mm-hmm. You know, it's totally fucking worth it, man. Yeah. Especially if you're just like me and you're just going there to just be an asshole and get hammered. You don't yeah, just buy walk a goddamn upstairs. thing, but booze. <laughs> yeah. But it's cool. <laughs> When's the next uh, Monster Mania convention? I think it's in August. Yeah, they usually it's... do them in like August, and then like one like in like sometime in like uh, spring like the... or whatever. Okay. Yeah, they do two a year usually. I know that we went to we went to one yeah, like, a yeah. while back and filmed. We shot some Hammerfight stuff. stuff at that yeah, one. That was pretty fun. We I followed interview, them around. We the interviewed the Nasty Boys. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, and they made us okay. So. The, somehow we ended up hanging out with a nasty boy. Like they were like they had they were vending, you know, they were doing photos and shit. And we ended up like part, hanging out with them at the bar. They were they were right next to I believe Buzz's table. A friend of mine, Buzz, he draws a comic book called The Living Corpse. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so I think the nasty boys were right next to him, and we just ended up meeting them because of that. So we were hanging out at the bar with them, and they were telling us all these fucked up stories about just them being awesome and drunk like wrestlers <laughs> in the 80s and like the stories are great and uh so we did an interview for the with them you know dave was filming it and todd was just asking them questions and he mentioned something he referenced one of the stories they were telling us and they made a sh- like sh- show the fuck camera <laughs> and they gave us a stern talking to and it's like you know, it was like, you gotta keep it family friendly, whatever. Like, oh, all right, whatever, man. You're the one who fucking told us that story. We yeah. didn't, <laughs> you didn't fucking set any parameters, but we just started turning the camera on. But it was, it was pretty interesting. I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. That's they got they, they they went from nice did you, did to you not to, nice in like quickly. a second. Very yeah, quickly. it was. But did you guys get to keep the footage? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we got it. Yeah, we footage of the. Fuck I'm yeah. pretty sure I left the camera running for did at you? least a little while. Okay. I. I I don't remember. I mean, this is a while back now, but I'm pretty sure we got, you know, at least a, enough footage of them complaining. But, no, they nice. were cool after that, too, and they let us shoot another little quick thing of them, like, yelling at the camera or whatever, yeah, giving, us, their, like, like, giving us, like, giving us, like, an edit. Promo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was, it was cool. Every, they, were, they were cool in the end, but that, that was, it was really funny. It did get a little tense. Yeah. I love that. Oh, yeah. Right. We, in, we, interviewed, that shit. we interviewed a lot of interesting characters. <laughs> the reason why I was asking, the reason why I was asking when the next one was, was just because we could we could do walk around and do the same thing. Oh yeah, I totally. I did it that. with uh, my old what podcast, press and that was the best thing we ever, the best piece of content that we ever made. That's one of the few things I left online. Okay, and wonder we if we were able to get press passes. Uh, I, tr- I tried, but they, but the I, I don't even think they responded to me. Yeah, but just you just you know. Buy a fifty dollar weekend yeah, pass exactly, and you're good, yeah. you know, whatever. It's cheap enough. Yeah. We made our own fake press passes. At least a buddy <laughs> of mine did. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, we could just make a couple it's a cloudy ben- it's mines. It's a bench fucking- press. <laughs> bench press. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. I I think uh it's worth looking into. Yeah. It's at the very least worth. Yeah, for into. sure. Where where do they where do they have those things? It's, it's, it's usually at the Crown, Crown Plaza Hotel yeah. in Cherry Hill. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The wonderful ground blossom. It's like hotel. literally minutes from uh, Philly, so yeah. you can get a killer okay. cheesesteak. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yep. Oh, I yeah. vaguely remember. I remember and it's interviewing a, cool a guy fucking who was dressed venue. as John Wayne Gacy's clown. I remember Todd walked up to him, and he says, Hey, John Wayne Gacy, <laughs> where's the best place to molest kids? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. the guy dressed like Pogo the Clown shut down and didn't know what to say. Yeah, you could just see him be like... <laughs> He's like, ooh. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. he had his whole bit prepared, uh-huh. but he had nothing prepared for he that. He was not expecting ever. that. Yeah. That no, was a good time. But that's how you got to go at, like, that's how you got to approach these people. You got to yeah. you <laughs> throw them off their game. Like, wait, what? Mm-hmm. You got to be prepared for everything. Yeah. Fantastic. It's a good time. I recommend going. I've, I've always had yeah, a blast if, every time. Yeah. If you guys haven't gone, check it out. Anthony, what have you come up with on your Google search? When is it? I, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> he fell asleep at the wheel. Oh, jeez. He man. fell asleep at the wheel. What do you think? You know, so, what do you think? You just sit behind the glass and look good? I mean, yeah, he told you when it was. You know, listen. <laughs> I said listen. it. I think it's in August. You he think was, it's in August, but I thought he would be Googling it. Uh, You're not Googling it? I had faith for him. Gosh, man. We, uh, right. you got just, in, the, in, the last, in the last segment, he's still a little hurt. We, you know, 
we we unpacked some heavy things before, so he's still reflecting. Oh, we found out about how he's a bad person at heart. Oh, <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Yeah. <laughs> I'm an angel. This guy hates uh, cats. The cat, yeah, this no, is the, um, the, the guy. This guy's a, a good story. Did you did you guys ever see that that uh, don't fuck with cats? Um, yes. On Netflix or whatever. Yeah, that Netflix? shit is fucked up. Do you see fucking um that dude Hasbula? That little fucking yeah. <laughs> the video of him beating the shit out of his cat. What? No. Yeah, he's a little piece of shit. He Fuck needs that to guy. Go. He needs to go. Yeah. Anthony, you're like a giant has I bet he couldn't fight more than <laughs> one cat at a time. I bet two no. cats would fuck that kid up. He's not even a kid. He's, he's like 30, right? Yeah. 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 How many, I, I got one for you. I got Anthony. Oh, God. How, how, many, how many cats do you think you could take at once? I would never take them. What do you mean? Uh, in a fight. How many cats do you think you could take in a fight? Like More than one like, is going to be tough for like, anybody. This is how many? fast and meat. But like, yeah, really? my cat gets pointy and sharp. Like, yeah. Get me. Yeah. Like, if it's I was just... in defense and there was X amount of cats, how many could I take to? Uh, yeah, how I many? I think I could take a couple. Yeah, why not? Like how five, many? six? Five or six cats attacking like, you Like, how many would it take time? to overwhelm you? Yeah. I don't know, you're talking probably like a dozen, right? And then they could do some sort of. Bro, yeah. I think it would not be. I think it would be less than that. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they can't. I've they seen. Well, I've well. seen cats go at people and like they're f they're fast and sharp. They're crazy and man. crazy. I would oh, not want to attack yeah. by yeah. multiple they cats. I mean, you got to get a hold of them to to eliminate them, and I they're hard not. to get a hold of. Yeah. Them. They don't want you to get a hold of them. They got hops. They don't say if there's cat eight like cats, six to eight cats on you, you're going down, bro. Nah, I got this. You're going down. Yo, I'll I'm be having a panic attack. Fucking Especially when they hear about die. what you did to that other cat. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh. Did you get murdered by cats? Wow. That would wait. suck yeah. so bad. Yeah. It would take forever. <laughs> Please don't tell anybody. <laughs> These dogs would just bite your neck and just end yeah. it. Yeah, the cat would quick. have to shred you to death, basically. Yeah. It would, yeah. Yeah. It would be bad. Oh, fuck that. It What's a bad. death by a thousand lashes? Yeah. Death by a thousand cuts? Yeah, no, that would be. that would. That's pretty much what you'd have. In that situation, <clears throat> yeah. that, those cats would have to shred your ass up, nah. which they would. Well, you know what? I think maybe, it's circumstantial. Maybe because they have such like little like actual like force, you know, like a dog can like cause like a potentially fatal wound with one strike. Correct. So could a cat. I, I think ninety nine percent of any like strike from a cat isn't going to come close to actually like, mortally wounding you. Go ahead. So you might be able to exhaust them or make them lose interest, you know, to the point where they just. Leave you alone in this before. scenario, that's not an option. In this scenario, those cats are in attack mode. Okay, because it's either you or them. I didn't know the parameters of like. I think we have to I, draw I, that I line. Think I, I said that there's it's either there's, you or them. Certain I got a better one. Your only <clears throat> bet is to break necks. Okay, well, I gotta know. Yeah. You gotta snap some like, necks. where am I? Am I like because like? Oh, you're in the forest. You're in the forest. Oh, open. I'm open. Yeah, these are wild yeah, cats, dude. Air. Little bobcats. Yeah. It's it just some wild cats now. No wild cats. Wild cats. The outdoor cats. No, just straight. So they're, just they're like just cats, like local straight. Local straight cat could be near saying open. You're in the park. You're out. You're outside behind the studio with all the dump trucks and shit. Oh, there's definitely some fucking. I mean, I feel like that's what I'm saying. Like I could. I could fucking fend off a couple. You would, no, you you would get hit by get a train myself. while you were being overwhelmed by cats. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I fend myself a, off a couple, right? Get yourself somewhere where they can't get you, you know? I mean, if he gets taken out by the train, at least one of the cats is getting hit. A bunch of the cats. A bunch of the cats. But a lot of them are going to jump off. A few yeah. of them are jumping off at the last second. Yeah. Being like, it's kind of like you. reflexes. Yeah, they, I'm, yeah. Opening middle, middle, of, middle, I'm opening a can of cat food. That's distracted at least four of them. That's a fair point. Cat food? Where do you, you get cat know, food from? I don't know where do I have that. Do you always have it in always. your pocket? It comes right. strapped. No, it's on my utility strapped. belt. No, he's got tuna in his star kissed in his fucking pocket. Anthony, you go on the beach, right? You're hanging out on the beach. Oh, shit. How many fucking sea lions? Sea How many lions? sea lions can you How take? Sea lions? But I mean, like... I could, the you're not beating one. Oh, yeah. They're like the it's ones that are just animal. like chilling. They're like just, yeah. those are the big fat but do blubbery they have ones teeth? that are chilling. Yeah, they, they have, have tusks. Teeth. Yeah, right? No, they don't mm. have tusks. But they're not coming at me. I think they do have Sea lions do. You're you. thinking of seals. Oh, seals. Yeah. How many yeah. seals can you take? Seals, but it does because like, I don't, I can just walk away. The seals are coming at you. Seals ain't coming. What if you're, is he you in the water? Away from the seals. He's in the water. He's done. Yeah, in the water, you're fucked. I think outside of the water, you're fucked. They drag you under. They drag you under. You're dead. You wouldn't catch me there. The seal? I'm, I agree with you. In the, in water, the water, you're yes, dead. Yes, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so you wouldn't place. catch you in there? You wouldn't get. Why would I? Yeah. I don't like going to the ocean anymore. The older I get, the more I'm like, yo, the ocean's I full go, of monsters. I go <laughs> that place. Ankle deep. That's it. Yeah. Ankle deep. I yeah. get my feet wet. I'm good. I've seen too many like overhead like drone videos of just the beach and how close sharks are. Yeah. I don't know. Fuck that shit, dude. 
I don't fucking need it. I don't mm-hmm. care. I don't go to the beach anyway. And dude, I've the the next, I've been lived a mile from the beach almost my entire life, and I, the only time I go is when I'm somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm going to go on the beach. It's going to be where I could see into the water out like 50 feet. You know what I mean? Those clear waters, and you're not going to have that here. No, thanks. No, you got to no. go to like the Gulf. I don't feel the same way. I feel like I can just go in the ocean because... I'm not gonna get eaten. Dude, by that a shark. time, that time that I went with you off and, a beach. Uh, no, you get no. eaten up by a shark off a beach. This you, shark's like a couple yards. Go. You were gonna go anyway. A couple yards, right off of right off happen. Belmar. On your couple dad's yards. boat. When, yeah. When well, we then what's your dad's boat? I mean, where were we? Where were we? Remember when we were doing that shit with the board riding, whatever that's called? Wakeboarding. Paddleboarding? No, wakeboarding. Not paddle. Wake. Getting pulled behind the boat. Oh yeah, yeah. I was sitting in there the whole time. I'm like. I'm gonna get bit in the ass by a shark. This is happening. There was no sharks there. It's I know, like in but this the is the constant thought in my mind. I'm Just turn around. You got to turn around and punch it in the face. You do have to kind of be okay with being like in the middle of something that's so much bigger than you that you can't even imagine it. Like when you're out in the ocean, like in the ocean, even a few, you know, fifty feet off. It's unfathomable how alone you would be. Like yes. imagine being stranded in the ocean. Oh my god, that's the most terrifying thought. Yeah, Wilson, it's, fuck that. That's the worst. That would be that would be one of the worst. Especially if you're in the in water. that situation, you probably are getting eaten by a shark. Yeah, whether pre or post mortem, one way or they're eating right. you. Yeah, right. you know? they're gonna yeah. eat you in half, alive or dead. Yeah. Yep. That 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 would and, be bad. And, and being in water for so long, what it does to your body is gross. Like, I mean, even if you're on a raft stranded out there and you're not soaking, the sun, what the sun does to you is yeah, gross too. Yeah. yeah. You'd be fucked. And you can't cook. drink the water. Nope. So you're fucked there too. It sounds that's bad, oh, man. Yeah, I don't, don't, I, don't, I don't care for the ocean. What is it? Three like, days. I, I, like I've always thought about like I've flown a lot. You know, I was thinking about crashing in the middle of the ocean because it's happened. Like, yeah. imagine how terrifying that would be. That would be. That's the two of the most terrifying <laughs> yeah. things possible. Like you, one right you're after in a the plane other. that lands, crashes in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. And you somehow manage to survive the crash, and now you're on your fucking floaty thing right, in the middle of the fucking Pacific, <clears throat> mm-hmm. and with zero chance that anyone will ever find you before you die. You know, and who you're you just are? sitting there waiting. You know who you are. Who? Tom Hanks and Castaway. He's but he's he was on he an served, island. Yeah, but he he got to an island. Yeah. He didn't this guy's initially. talking about being out in the middle of the ocean. This isn't an option in yeah. my scenario. Yeah, like, no. there's no land for thousands you know of miles. Tom Hanks. You're oh. you're, you're more like uh, Leonardo on the, on the on the side of the door hanging off. That's not yeah. gonna work. Never let go. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the ocean. Uh, ocean scare. I, think, I still like to go to the beach, though. Ocean is I, where I like the beach. I live a block away from the beach. Yeah, yeah. I, feel like I go as much as I can. Bitten by a shark in the in the water is so 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 low. When you go to the but, beach, I mean, think it also. My brother made this point to me plenty of times. He's like, "All right, you're gonna die anyway, but you know, just getting eaten by a shark would be a pretty cool way to die, right?" I'm like, "Yo, what happened to that guy? Like, yo, we get eaten by a fucking shark, yo." Yeah, he did gnarly. Yeah. I. <laughs> Think that would hurt in some <laughs> it way. Suck. Like it would yeah, hurt. It would like absolutely be so, terrible. So yeah, bad. That would be yeah. a bad, 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 bad. They're way taking to die. a big yeah. bite of like your side or your leg. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt like a bitch. Would you rather die of a heart attack? I'll suck the dick all day long. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Goodness, fatal blowjob. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you answered too quickly. Death here. by a thousand dicks. <laughs> Do you? Would you rather? Die by getting your head bitten off by a shark or a massive heart attack? Hmm. Would you rather have your massive head bitten like, off by a shark? You're talking like a clean bite? like The, one the shark chop. bites your head clean off in one bite. So your neck That's is not se- instant. Your head is severed from your body. It's not instant, but it's pretty close. Yeah. I mean, or the heart attack <laughs> might take a massive, minute. Massive heart attack. I don't know, man. Yeah, the heart attack, you could go like... Do I get to hours. be really old in both scenarios? <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, your, it your age is not. Your age doesn't matter. In this I mean, it, you get it to, does because <laughs> I don't want my life cut short by a shark. I mean, or, or a heart, heart attack. attack. But the heart attack, at least, is you know not because you're I was going to die either way. <sighs> you're dying either way. Now, which way would you, would you prefer to die? Uh, Head after, bitten I, off by a shark. Or I'd rather. I'd attack. rather people be like, yeah, he got eaten by a shark. Yeah, especially after four of these beards, I'll take the shark right now. Yeah, even though you know that the shark is gonna chew on your head a couple times to, before you actually, because you're, oh, you're gonna get you said my head got clean. 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 You said you clean. Clean. I, 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 I asked you to clarify. You said, this, I so did. You did. And I thought you understood what you I meant clean. by this. You said it was big. It was clean off. Clean off in the first bite. Yeah, but then. Your head's still going to be alive for a little while. Oh, fine. Chew it up. Whatever. It's already off. Who cares? Get me out of here. You still, you don't think you're going to feel that? I don't fucking know. I don't know. 
Uh, Either way, your pain I won't. receptors. Like, See, to me, it, I, that's yeah, the biggest. I think what's your spinal cord severed? How yeah. much pain are you going to be feeling? Yeah, I don't think it's your head though. Yeah, but it's I don't above, know. This but it's works. above the part where it's the, severed. That's it's still above the CPU. You still. Like, I think it's it's part of the CPU. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the housing. It's the CPU housing. And it's going to be crunching on the. Like, housing. I don't know where the core of this thing but, is. Like, but I think I think he made a good point. Once the spinal cord is severed, that's. The end all be You can't all feel your body nerves. anymore. You do you know? I don't know. Are, are you, you a, are you a doctor? I'm pretty doctor sure you didn't have... go to medical school. No, uh, I did not. The, the, the brain I, I don't know the right live. answer. The brain still lives. I think like, that what? it would hurt. Seconds? I think your brain would it would hurt. But like, you know even what? if your brain was getting At chewed on, it would way? hurt. At least this way, my body is being used to feed another <laughs> organism and keep the fucking ecosystem what moving. A yeah. guy. Yeah. If I die of a heart attack, they're going to embalm me and throw my useless fucking chemical flesh in the ground. And I'm not even good food for worms. Right. At least but this way, tainted, you know. You're yeah. actually a, a, a satiating meal for a shark. Now I'm part, perhaps of, the food, part of the food sharks. chain. I'm keeping life going. Wow. Yeah. To give me the shark. And then he's going to get eaten by the shark, pooped out by the shark, and become coral. Yeah. Coral? That's kind of dope. Yeah, dude. And also, like, the poop will be I also food for other tiny little happens. fish. Exactly. Yeah. It's the circle of it's life. The circle of life. And Anthony is letting cats out the window. God damn. God, it was wow. Fucking it dangerous. was a bit. It was a bit, Dave. For, it was a bit. For the record. <laughs> but the cat's actually gone. <laughs> <laughs> the story's not real. The, na- but the, cat, the neighbor the did find a home for it. And, and oh, there my was God. No Stop. Win- there was no window. You have was to in stop. the middle. This is Before this the is record, the craziest whatever. shit you said in so long, dude. I, can, I'm I a love crazy this. Guy. Oh I love my this. God. For the record, no matter what you said after head bitten off by a shark, I was taking the other option. The heart attack? Whatever it was. Yeah, see, I would take the heart attack also because I don't want my head chewed on by a shark also. It doesn't matter. I don't want to see that. Because most people would assume that they die automatically or that they don't feel it. But I think that you would feel the head getting chewed on. And you're going to feel your, your heart head. exploding. But I'd rather feel that. Okay, fair enough. I I, I, well, I don't Either way, want you know what? I on. think you know. If, when it comes to life experience, if this is your life ending experience, give me that extreme one. Yeah, you know, fuck yeah, it. Right, like just like I let's didn't. Go, I, let's I, fucking I, I've, go. I've done my best to not live a boring life, and I've done. I think I've done way better than the average person so far. You know, uh, so keep. Yeah, it up. I could definitely yeah. say my life's not boring. Yeah. So, my, life, yeah. the, my, my life has not been I have not led a boring existence yeah. if, if, I'm pretty pleased with If this is all I get I did okay Yeah same Like And it would At the end of the day If if, if you were like Yeah Chris got eaten by a shark Or Chris had a heart attack Yeah shark This shark Shark every time Sounds dude. way sicker me? dude That's true Yeah Everybody dies with and heart like, problems And it kind of like <laughs> And it would kind of like fit Another one. You know what I mean It kind of yeah. like fits Like yeah dude he was And you know an what An extreme end to an extreme existence Yeah You yeah. might be in some sort of a statistic That is like actual Like notable You might be statistically You might get talked about On the fucking Discovery Channel someday. Because of so Shark few people week. Who get it Yeah You know Yeah man You might get a fuck You, you might get a credit on Shark Week Or, or something segment like that. Something Yeah, yeah. You the right person with you Who's uh, like yo dude He was fucking fighting him off And just Yeah <laughs> you know? Even after after his head was off, his body was still punching. I heard thing. that the safest time to go swimming in the ocean is actually during Shark Week because all the sharks are busy. Yeah, they're on yeah. TV. Yeah, yeah, they're busy and they're doing interviews and stuff. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. That's that's you can't argue with that science. I'm not, I, you know. Yeah, that's good. I, bu- I back they're busy it. Busy eating things in the water. No, thank you. I back it. I back it. They're all doing their uh, talking heads, and that's pretty funny. Yeah. Shark they're doing cast. this show, the Mythbusters. Yeah, they're they're busy, they're busy, and they all the sharks in the, all the world go. Yeah, so we're good. Megalodon, <laughs> the Meg. I'm gonna watch that. Oh, speaking of watching that, I watched the McKeevy Kelvy McKamey Manor McKamey Manor episode. I watched the little snippet. It was like a a, por- a portion of the Dark Traveler. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show. So I watched it. I kind of, like, got an idea of what you were talking, you were I think talking it, about. I there. think it's bullshit. I think that the three of us, even if you want in, I think the four of us should sign up to try to get in. Explain to... Well, what is this? I'm, I'm, to I'm, I'm ignorant to what you're speaking Yes, of. explain M- to Drew. McKamey set, him, set the scene. <clears throat> McKamey in Manor Tennessee. is supposed oh, to be... Oh, I've heard of it. I know what it is. It's that extreme haunted house. Where yeah, I... if you make it through the whole <laughs> thing, you get 20 grand. And no one's ever done it. No one's ever done it because it doesn't exist. Yeah, no, I've heard. What it do you mean it doesn't exist? I've heard. I, I think I watched a bunch of YouTube videos about this guy. Yeah, and he seems to be like you know 
Not, he's, that's he's, the most up. I think he's standing. a serial killer. Uh, I think he's a fucking serial killer. Okay, that's, but yeah, that's it doesn't a pretty exist. Extreme like, allegation. They're like, what do you mean it doesn't exist? It doesn't really exist, dude. He makes you do all these like tasks before you can enter the haunted house. Uh, but it's like there, there is, no is none because you can never do the tasks. See, that's the kind of what I was thinking about when we were talking about it. That no matter what you do. It's never going to be enough. They, like, legit waterboard you. Yeah. Like, it's dumb stuff. Like, oh, come on. I'll, I'll give you one more try. If you can't do this, you can't You, you can't come in the house. Yeah. It's huh. bullshit. Interesting. Yeah, I heard it, so wasn't, now, it wasn't really on the up and up from what I understand. People have, like, you know, they come out of there with shaved heads, broken Seems bones. mad like, sadistic. Yeah, yeah. He right. gets off on hurting you. I think that that's what it is. This guy is just a psycho. But how is he getting away with it? That's what I don't. It, it They're signing up. Goes on every year. People though. sign the waivers. Well, people yeah. do it. People voluntarily go. You know. But even that's still, the thing. like yeah. you're. Yeah, I get it. You're volunteering. They're choosing to do it. And it's a forty-five page waiver. I think no one's trying to sue him. Hasn't someone tried to sue him? I think so. But yeah. he, that, however, he has that waiver. Like he said, it's a 45-page waiver. Whatever he has yeah, in there. Yeah, a waiver is just a deterrent to filing a lawsuit. You can fucking hire a lawyer go out there, anyone you want. Yeah. doesn't matter what you sign. That's You can true. do it. Yeah. That's, that, if you you're, can definitely it, file a as lawsuit. As long as you can have the, you know, I guess the legal power equivalent or greater than to your opponent, mm -hmm. you can do it. That's probably true, unfortunately. It won't work with Disney because the, you they'll just exhaust you financially. Of course, yeah. That guy... That, guy, that guy's not Disney. <laughs> yeah. That is not a Disney-sanctioned yeah. event. Yeah, that that does, that whole thing stinks to me. Yeah, it definitely stinks. And I want to sign up. But I see, I don't think that's how to go about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't I think that's how to go about I, it. I don't, now that you... I want to sign up, and I want to go see it for my, like, I want to see it. Yeah, I, I want to see I don't it. like that you included me in this. I wasn't... <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> I no, you're, you're cool. You're in. You, you, yeah, you're good. Yeah. You're good. You're good, man. Don't worry about it. If we had a big enough platform, he would let us do that interview thing like he did with the other guy. But because he seems like a kind of guy who really wants to be yeah. on TV. You know what I mean? Like yes. he seems like the kind of guy who would like grant interviews because he just wants to be in front of a camera. But he I just, just seems like a, a giant human piece of shit. I right. Really exactly. Don't. Like I don't even want to like. Yeah. You know, that's too far away to go to. If I was going to go, I want to go to expose the fucking son of a bitch. You know what I mean? Blow up his spot. Like, it's, I think several people have done that already. It doesn't seem to. Uh, right. <laughs> it's her own. Seems not. Like, dude, the fuck. Uh, I mean, if people are so willing to pay and go. You know what it costs no to, do it? to do it? You know what it costs to do it? No. A bag of dog food. That's it. That's it. And you go there and you bring a bag of dog this food. This guy must have a lot of dogs. Yeah. He says that. And then the guy on the TV show said that there was like a suggested or that the, they accept cash donations. So he also made the, the one guy, not the, the TV host, but the other guy who was doing it at the same time, mm -hmm. did give him some money as well. But they didn't disclose how much that was. But yeah, the whole thing is, the whole thing is. I'll yeah. send you, after the show, I'll send you. I'd uh, rather do something fun like go-karts. Yeah. I want to go throw <laughs> hatchets. You got that around here? Yeah. Hmm. Well, close enough. I'm probably just gonna walk. Wait, all right. Is that is there still gonna be a line to get into that fucking place? When I'll we're get done you. Here? I'll get you right in. Okay, I'll walk you right in. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I, I I'm gonna want to go get another beer. When we're done. There you go. So if yeah. you guys want to get a drink, I'm down. But yeah, that fucking bar right next door, the line was fucking crazy. Yeah. With, so tonight what looked is, to uh, me and Dave like absolute fucking children. Little goddamn tiny kids. Like I, little I, kids, I guess, dude. So tonight's called Beat the Clock, and beers start at 50 cents, is, and they oh, go up 25 cents every hour so, till midnight. Okay, so that was about two hours ago that we saw that line. Yeah, the Beat of the Of all, like, people that, like, turn 21 today. Yes. And they've been <laughs> drinking 50-cent drinks for two hours? They, no, they that just started a half hour ago. It's 8.30 oh, oh now. Oh, my God, it'd be such a god. Is it, is it an absolute, complete fucking nightmare? I, dude, all right, let's 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 get this going. Let's wrap this up. We're all going to take a field trip. There okay. you go. <laughs> all right, let's do it. All right, I'm guys, down. thank you so very much, Drew. Drew, thank you so much for, for making the trip down here. Thanks we for having really me. really appreciate it, man. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Tell the people where they can find you. Uh. Go to uh, uh, tombscult.com or tombs on Bandcamp, hammerfight.net, unclezippo.com, and uh, yeah.
you follow me on Instagram or whatever, but I haven't looked at any social media in over a month. But Probably yeah, yeah. Off. let's go to Spotify and hear some music. Fuck yeah. Awesome. There and you know. guys, if you want to follow us at the Two Cloud of Mod Show on all social media and YouTube, we're on threads too. I don't really know much about that, but yeah, check us out there. Uh, you follow us individually. I'm at Little Guy Chris 28. DC in the city on all social media. At Uncle Zippo Press. There you go. Huh. <laughs> and as always, we'll see you next week. Stay clouded. Alexa, play Hammer Fight. <laughs> <laughs>